Ang cereal prawn dish is another popular recipe from Singapore. And the last time that we were there, my family and I ate in a restaurant. At sabi ng asawa ko, nung natikman niya yung cereal prawn doon, kaya ko raw bang gawin yun? Aba, syempre naman kaya kong gawin yun, di ba? Para namang na-challenge ako with his statement. Kaya naman today, I decided to recreate this dish para mapatunayin sa asawa kong kaya kong gawin ang recipe na yun. And of course, so that I could share it to all of you as well. So, bago ako magluto, mga ka-chefies, please don't forget to press the like button para mas marami pa ang makapanood ng recipe na to. And, if you're new to my channel, I am Chef Mom Rosebud. Please don't forget to subscribe. Okay? Pwede na tayo magluto. So, lagay lang natin siya sa mortar and pestle. Dudurugin natin siya. We're gonna cook this on both sides until it turns bright orange. Ayan, so coated na yung ating front with a cereal mixture. I have here already my prawns. Ito, it's been peeled and deveined already. Tinira ko lang yung tail para maganda siyang tingnan for presentation purposes. For the batter, we just need one piece of egg, cornstarch, salt, and pepper. Okay. So, let me just crack the egg here sa ating bowl. Okay. Pasarapin natin with our pepper. Some salt. So, the usual lang. And our cornstarch. So, yung cornstarch natin. Halo lang natin dyan. So, you could also use all-purpose flour if you like. Pero, I like using cornstarch para medyo kahit pa paano, medyo mas parang crispy in a way yung ating batter. Okay? So, just mix everything. Make sure na wala nang buo-buo na cornstarch. Ito yung dish na when you go to a Chinese restaurant, medyo pricey siya. Kaya naman, I decided to recreate this dish, i-share sa inyo yung recipe, para naman ma-enjoy nyo tong recipe na to na hindi kayo masyadong gagastos. Ayan, so okay na siya. I have here my prawns. I'll do the same thing. Just season with pepper. So I'm using white pepper. And salt. The reason why I'm using white pepper, kasi medyo ano tong dish na to, it's color white, kumbaga. So, ayaw lang natin na medyo may mga itim-itim. Yun lang naman yun. Pero if you can find white pepper, it's fine. Baka lang kasi isipin ng iba pagka, if the dish is color white, diba? Baka isipin eh, dumi yung white, in yung black pepper. Okay, so mix na yan. Ayan. Coat it evenly with your batter. It doesn't have to be really thick, ha? Hindi naman kailangan. Pero coated lang siya. Yeah. And then we proceed with our cereal mixture. For the cereal mixture naman, what we need is, of course, we need our cereals. In Singapore, they use the brand Nestum. Kasi yun daw talaga yung parang non-negotiable. That's a secret ingredient. But of course, if you can't find it here in the Philippines, pwede kayong gumamit ng kahit na anong cereal brand. Preferably, of course, yung plain lang. Huwag nyo may mga honey almond o kung ano-ano pang flavor. We just want the plain cereal. So, lagay lang natin siya sa mortar and pestle. Dudurugin natin siya. Grabe naman. Wala na bang mas papangit pang mortar and pestle dito? Uh, hello to any sponsor. Baka pwede naman kayo mag-sponsor ng... Bago-bago na mortar and pestle or pandikdik. Kung wala kayo nito, you could place this in a resealable plastic bag. Tapos pukpukin nyo. Pwede kayong gumamit ng... Uh, ano ba yung mga ginagamit? Yung rolling pin, pwedeng bottle of mineral water, anything hard actually pwede. So just crush it like so. Nagyan na natin ulit sa bowl yung ating... Crushed cereals. And then we add the rest of the ingredients. Sobrang konti lang na ingredients na recipe na to actually. Na kaya-kaya nyo itong gawin. And it's something that's easily available sa inyong mga soaking tindahan. So we have here sugar. I'm using brown sugar. I also have here milk powder. Don't worry ha sa mga nanonood ng mga kasyeti. Nalagay ko dyan sa ating description box yung recipe para ma-follow nyo. So just mix that. 
Let's also add a little bit of salt again and pepper. And I'm going to be adding one chicken stock. Para lang mas malinang nang siya. Mas maumami ba? Okay. So, yan. Crush nyo lang ganyan. Tapos mix nyo ganun. Mix-mix lang. Ayan. Okay. And then just mix everything. So that it is properly distributed. Yung ating cereals with the sugar, with our milk, also our chicken cube, salt and pepper. So this is good. Okay, so nandito na ako sa aking stove. Piniinit ko na yung mantika. Kanina pa para ready na tayo pag magluluto. So first thing that we need to do is we're just gonna be frying our prawns. So, slowly lang, lagay natin dyan. We're gonna cook this on both sides until it turns bright orange. Siyempre naman, ang prawns, mabilis maluto yan, di ba? So, we have to be mindful. Oops, okay, dumidikit siya. There. Of the time, para hindi siya ma-overcook. So, don't overcrowd your pan when you're cooking, mga ka because if you do, mababa yung temperature ng ating oil and we want to maintain that hot temperature for frying. So, make sure lang na hindi nagsisiksikan yung ating mga prawns when we cook. Okay, I'll cook this in batches kasi may natira pa. Ayan, some of it has turned bright orange already. We could now flip it to the other side. Ayan, oh, ang bango! Nandito pa lang tayo. Nako, na-excite na ako. And this is something, like what I said kanina, something that you could make for your family at a fraction of the price compared to eating in a restaurant, di ba? You could always eat a restaurant-grade food in the comfort of your own home. Tapos, ito pa, konti lang yung ingredients, and it doesn't really take a long time to cook. Sobrang bilis lang. Okay, this is good. Like I said, we don't want to overcook this. Okay. Aray. Ay ko, masakit yun ha. Ayan. Dati, nung nag-start ako magluto, grabe ako tatakot talaga ako matalsikan ng mantika. Pero wala na, battle scars na yung mga yan. I this is good already, kasi mainit na mainit na yung ating apoy. Ayan, pwede ko nang i-drain off dito sa ating plate with paper towels. Tapos punta na tayo sa ating next procedure. Painitin natin ulit ang ating pan dito sa ating stove top. So, I changed my pan. Yung iba, ginagamit nila same pan. They just drain off the excess oil. Pero, I don't want the hassle. So, kumuha ulit ako ng bagong pan. And I have here my butter. Tapos, on very low heat, let us just melt our butter. Okay, just melt it. Tapos, I have here basil leaves. Kariniwang ginagamit talaga for the cereal prawns are the curry leaves. But if you can't find it here, you could always substitute with basil leaves. Huwag natin pahirapan ang ating mga sarili. Kung anong meron, pwede tayo mag-substitute, okay? Masarap pa rin naman yan. Okay, low heat. And then, gagamit tayo ng... Siling labuyo. Ang dami naman nito. Parang hindi mo na gusto mapakain yung mga tao dito sa bahay. Pero, of course, good. Of course, you could always adjust the amount of chili you're gonna add. So, for this recipe, I'll just add two siling labuyo. Pero kung hindi kayo ganun kahilig, pwede naman gawin yung isa lang. Okay, so lagyan natin dyan. Okay. So just continue to mix, like so. Okay, so once the butter is melted, we could now get our cereal mix. At ilagay na natin sa dito sa ating pan. Okay, kailangan natin sa ngayong haluin ng haluin. Ayan, let the butter coat your cereal mixture. Ayan. Parang medyo basa-basa siya ng konti. There. So, mix it. Tapos makikita nyo rin, medyo mag-change ng slightly yung color ng ating 
cereal kasi nga nabasa na siya ng ating butter. Hmm, ang bango! I can smell it! It smells so good. There. So just continue mixing it lang ha. Huwag niyong iiwanan kasi baka pag hindi niyo sinister, baka masunog siya. Okay, lower the heat. We can now add in, add back our, yeah, prawns. Okay. So mix na natin siya hanggang makot na yung ating ayan o. Oh. Nakukot na yung ating prawns with our cereal mixture. See, like that. It's so easy. Yun na yun mga ka-chefies. Yun na yun. Yun na yung nino-order natin pag pupunta tayo sa ating mga uh, Chinese restaurants, Singaporean restaurants, Malay restaurants. It's this easy. See? Ayan. So, coated na yung ating prawns with a cereal mixture. Ganun lang sa kabilis. So, I'm just gonna plate this and then I'll show it to all of you para naman matakam na rin kayo. Ayan. Sobrang simple. Sobrang dali. Sobrang sarap. Yan ang nakakatawa dito. Yan yung mga favorite na magic words for me. When I try to cook for my family. Patong natin yung mga natira pa na hindi dumikit. Na cereal prawns. There we go. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Lagyan natin ng sili para lang alam nila na maanghang. Ito talaga sa gitna. Iyan. Ayan mga ka-chefies, o oh, diba napaka-simple lang niyang gawin, napakadali. Pero as you can see, diba parang ka na rin kakain sa restaurant. So I hope that you enjoyed watching today's video. And if you did, please show me some love by again liking this video. At kung hindi pa kayo nagsusubscribe, mag-subscribe na kayo. Ano pa bang hinihintay nyo? Hit nyo na yung subscribe button na yan. And of course, hit nyo rin yung bell para naman ma-notify kayo whenever I upload a new video. Ayan, try nyo itong sa bahay ha. Matutuwa ang inyong buong pamilya. So, bago ko magpaalam, titikman ko muna para makita nyo at matakam din kayo. Hmm, sarap. Hmm! Ang sarap, para akong bumalik ng Singapore. So good! Thank you for watching mga ka-chefies. Till next time! Mm -hmm. Ciao!